All right, good morning, y'all. Rise and grind, Roddy fam. How y'all doing? Today we're going to be talking about early neurological stimulation, what it is, the benefits, uh, the time frame that you do it, and the actual exercises that you should be doing. So, early ne neurological stimulation is basically that, right? You're stimulating their neurological system. Uh, the U.S. Army developed the biosensor program back in the 70s and 80s and whatnot. So they conducted a whole bunch of tests uh, with a lot of puppies with the purpose of developing dogs that would perform better in the situations that they needed them for, whether it be search and rescue, uh, whether it be, you know, um, hunting enemies, looking for bombs, going through mazes, etc. right? So they developed it. They did a whole bunch of studies, and um, there's a lot of results out there. You could do a quick Google search uh, for the results for the test. You know, um, a lot of them were very, very positive. Uh, some of them were without major differences. I'm just going to let you know what the exercises are and the benefits, right? I'll show y'all, and it's up to you whether you want to use that or not. Now, as far as the benefits are concerned, there are various benefits right you're stimulating right there in their brain to um develop all, all the necessary conditions for them to 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 be to live a better life um benefit number one is a better cardiovascular system uh, meaning that their heart rate is going to be much better the, the, the pumps that they're going to be um doing are going to be much stronger we have stronger suprarenal glands or adrenal glands. These are responsible for producing various hormones in them that are going to help them out in stressful situations. Now, that gives you a better tolerance towards stress. Uh, in, in the test that we talked about, they saw that dogs that were put under the biosensor program um, had better stress um resistance right they they weren't that stressed out when, when they put when they were put under certain situations like going through the maze they didn't show that many signs of the stress versus the ones that were actually um that weren't actually uh stimulated and finally uh, out of our best interest is going to be greater resistance towards the seas so what are these exercises you do them in the neonatal period uh, from day three of them being born to day 16. Today, these puppies are actually, I'm sorry, today 19. These puppies are, are 13 days old. So basically what we do is we take one puppy. It's a male, look at that, nice and fat and hasn't opened his eyes yet. You do the vertical position for her, uh, three to five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Then you put their head down for three to five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Then you put them in a supine position. One, two, three, four, five. I like to add nose to tail stimulation. That's just me adding it. One, two, three, four, five five now in the test they did with a q-tip I, I do it with my fingers you uh, stimulate between their their toes one two three four five and finally you do thermal stimulation which is basically kind of like a damp cloth uh, you put it in the fridge for you know, I don't know four or five minutes so you put them there for five seconds as well one two three four five and basically you know that's that's about it that's all you do and you do this for all the puppies now the logic behind this is these stimuli they don't they don't occur in nature for them right so it's you putting them under many stressful situations and it's letting them know like hey i got this you could do this you could overcome this so in the future you know, when, you, when you're developing your super dog, uh, when you're putting them 
in different performance activities, they actually will end up performing better. They'll be able to handle that stress much better. That's the logic behind it. So one, two, three, four, five. 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 I got another boy. Nice and chunky. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Some of them, as these guys, they won't mind at all. They don't care. Others, you know, they'll, they'll put a little bit of resistance. In either case, you know, y'all let me know in the comments down below. Do you do this to your puppies? Do you find the logic behind it? Look at that. Nice, chunky female. Give a nice thumbs up. Give a like for this female. Look at her. So beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Stimulate those toes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 